danger. There you go. Last episode, we saw this frantic chase sequence, which ended with Ralph saving the world from incredible danger. Unfortunately, it didn't save Dump from getting the combi. Thank you. And buzz off. About a year ago, when Mum found out she was dying, she really didn't know what to say to us. So she wrote these cards. Mum didn't write me one. She forgot. Or she didn't care. And it didn't save Michael from feeling angry about his mum. She must have. Sometimes there are some things that can't be explained. Time doesn't stand still and there's nothing that stays just the way we want it to be. Things sure are changing around here. Yeah, that is a miracle we need right now. Last time the combi returned, this could be just another lapse in security. But it could be Jane with a new grandbaby, your babiness. Has Jane phoned to report a new grandbaby? No, your babiness. Has she phoned to report a lapse in security? No. What should we feel, your babiness? Excitement or disappointment? Oh. Oh. I don't think Jane would make the same mistake twice, do you? I think we should prepare to greet the new grandbaby! The new grandbaby? Checked all components and everything is ready. The Hubble telescope is now fully operational and accurate. Conroy, the monitors. Yes, Professor. Gentlemen, prepare to record the first discoveries of science's greatest interplanetary eye. Better keep them with everything else. Look, I don't know why you think you're going to be stuck here forever. As soon as we find the power of linguistic ability, you'll have a new grandbaby, it'll make you do a new combi, and you can go home. Yes, but do you think we can find the power of linguistic ability? It was one of the first powers we witnessed, and we still don't have it. Look, I'll make Aunt Josie a big jug of lemonade. How do we get her to drink it? 
She always drinks one, just to be polite. She's got to have more than that to make her want to go, Sam. There's a family meeting in the living room now. Dad? Now, Sam. Okay, Dad. Jane, Ralph, you should be at this too. Okay, Dad. I don't know what this is about. Right, sit down. Sam. What? I have an idea. Now that everyone's here, I... Where's Michael? At Dump's house, the traitor. As far as I'm concerned, Michael's the only one who's been showing any common sense lately. And even he seems to be getting unreliable. Still, as you know, Aunt Jocelyn has mild whiplash. And... Where's Sam and Jane? It's a moon water pill. Sam, we want to start. I'm the grandbaby had to invent it because we don't have much water on the moon. And how it works, you see, is if you put it in a liquid, it just makes more of it. So if you put it in a glass of lemonade, it just keeps refilling the glass with lemonade. Samantha! Oh, won't be a second. So it keeps on refilling it indefinitely. Not indefinitely, but one pill equals 500 glasses. Approximately. Come in here now, Sam. Thank you. Now everyone's here, let's begin. Aunt Jocelyn, as you know, has mild whiplash, which means she has to wear... Samantha? Yeah, I know, I'm coming. I promise. I just had to get a drink for Aunt Jossie. There you go. It's just lemonade, but I thought it might help. Thank you. That's very nice of you, Sam, but... It hardly makes up for today. Aunt Jocelyn has mild whiplash and has to wear a neck brace till tomorrow. Now, although it was Ralph who dived in front of her, well, we can hardly blame him. Why not? Well, he's... he's... Drone, drone, drone. Well, we know you were behind it, and that's the main thing. And it's just this sort of silliness that we've just had enough of. I didn't mind when it was just harmless play acting, like pretending to read each other's minds or dressing up as drum majorettes. But when it becomes irresponsible, like getting Ralph to hurl himself in front of Aunt Jocelyn's golf club or windows being broken... Oh, well... Well, that's uh, another matter entirely, and I won't stand for it. Uh, actually, I broke the window. A bit of a slice off the old two-wood. Still, be that as it may, the incident on the golf course was both stupid and dangerous. Aunt Jocelyn could have been seriously hurt. Luckily, I have cat-like reflexes and broke my fall with my paws. <laughs> Hands. Yes, but it might have been a lot worse, and that's the point I'm trying to make. And I don't think you kids should be taking advantage of Ralph's... Well, um... Gosh, I'm good. Trusting nature. Well... Aunt Jossie? Uh... Didn't you like your lemonade? What do you mean? I, I drank... Oh! I could have sworn it. Oh, well. Now, which one of you put Ralph up to that prank? Can you tell me why? And I don't want any silly stories about mind reading or trips to the moon. No, no, it was nothing like that. Oh, good. He was saving the planet from nuclear destruction. It's true, Dad. You see, Aunt Josie put a cold fusion reactor in her bucket of golf balls. And if you hit it anywhere apart from the red dot, you'll get a huge explosion. But if you hit it on the red dot, you destroy the world. That's it. We're not going anywhere until I get a sensible answer. All right. Well, the truth is, Ralph and I are from the moon. Our leader is a wise and ancient infant known as the Grand Baby. About a week ago, it dispatched a guided probe to seek out the Chosen One and bathe him or her in the essence of Grand Babyhood. Are you with me? Objects dropped on us from the combi. We believe the gifts of friendship 
and that these items are the emblems of authority worn by the Earth's rulers. So we think this is how the supreme ruler of Earth looks on diplomatic occasions. Still, a good job. You put them in the museum, along with the other Earth gifts of friendship. Your babyness, the combi's returned. And it's towing more presents for us. generous people. This might go on for years. In that case, you baby, it's Oh dear! I'm becoming more senile! It's happening so quick! Soon I'll be going to keep my food! Lose the power of spore! Of speech! Then I'll start melting it and dribbling it! Oh dear Jane! Hurry! Royal Dump World by Waste Contractors. Use us, we're out of this world. Michael speaking. Yes, sir, our rates are very competitive. No, sir, no garbage is too revolting for our trained technician. Mr. Bernard Dump, GRG. Garbage removal genius. Okay. Thank you, sir. No, madam. The location of our tip is top secret, but we can guarantee that you'll never see your garbage again. Royal Dump, Worldwide, etc., etc. Michael speaking. I want to speak to Bernard Dump, s'il vous plaît. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Dump is attending to business at the moment. Can I help you? Mm, well, it is a very delicate matter. The rubbish which I have is very sensitive. Ah, that's okay. We wear gloves. Can I take down a few details? It will all be confidential. I think I just wait for Mr. Dunn. Just tell him Jean uh, Smith called from Paris. Harmony? Oh. Is your dad a crook? Michael? He's an entrepreneur. It's just that I've had eight international calls this afternoon, all from different countries, and none of them want to leave a message. Oh, well, what's wrong with that? They're all named John Smith. Oh, except one. There's this guy from Russia called Mikhail. And they all reckon their garbage is sensitive. Maybe it smells. Boy, imagine how the moon's going to smell in a few months' time. I mean, let's face it. All he's doing is filling it up with garbage. Ta-da! Today... Is a landmark day in the history of waste disposal. The first garbage on the moon. Oh, you can see it a bit, kids. It's right, you have, haven't you? Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. But, hey, Dad. Huh? Do you think it's okay to dump all this garbage on the moon? I mean, you're not messing it up too much, are you? Harmony, are you a greenie? Maybe. Well, then you've got no complaints, have you? Because there's nothing green on the moon. Right? No rivers, no forests, no nothing. It's a governmental paradise. What about the moonlings? Well, I only saw one of them. And you know what he did? He thanked me. Hmm? I was dumping waste, and he was there, happy as Larry, saying, thank you very much, Star, please. Apparently, they love this stuff. No. Ah, I don't know what you're worried about. Everybody's happy. Right, any messages? John Smith called. 
Ah, all for John Smith's ball. And Mikhail. Wonderful. Did they uh, mention what it was about? No. Too late. But they did say it was a delicate matter. Delicate as in sensitive. What did you know? Just a guess. Right, I'll call them later. Dad, are you doing anything crooked? Harmony! What do you mean crooked? Against the law. No. Immoral? Immoral? You know, bad, naughty, wrong. Uh, no. My conscience. My conscience is perfectly clear now. Now, Ryan, you trust your old dad, don't you? Look, all sensitive garbage means is you shouldn't eat it. Oh. Now, come on, I've got calls for me. I better go home. It's getting late. Oh, I'll see you to the gates. Ah, uh, hello. So we now have five out of the six miraculous powers, and and I think we'll probably get the last one tonight sometime. Did I leave anything out? I feel much better now that you know the facts, Mr. Mellop. The facts. But I think when I was your age, I was content with comic books. The Phantom, Superman. You all right, Dad? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm due back on planet Earth, where I've got a nursery to close up. Dad, can Jane and Ralph live with us a while? Uh, I mean, since they... Don't whoa, you have whoa, whoa, whoa. This is where I really draw the line. If you two want to stay the night... I'll have to ask your parents. What's your phone number? That's a long way. We live in an outer suburb. All right. Well, I'll see what they say. And if it's okay with them, it's okay with me. Thank you, Mr. Mallop. Jossie. Oh! No, I'm sorry. But this lemonade is very filling. Um, I think if we hear an apology, we'll let the kids get on with their mission. What do you reckon? Oh, of course. I'm very sorry. It will never happen again. No, no. They have to apologise to you. Oh, right. Sorry, sorry Aunt, Aunt Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Thank you, children. Now, I really must go. And it will never happen again. And it will never happen again. Good. Now, I really... Let you be give her a kiss on the cheek. No, no. Not necessary. Everyone's very sorry. I'm very sorry. Uh, excuse me. I must go and fix you up. Can we go now? All right, but as long as you promise, there'll be no more silliness. Ah, uh, Josie, you've got to talk to us. What? Just say anything. Keep talking. I will not. I'm Please, Josie. Stand, Josie. Can I speak to Mr. or Mrs. McDonald, please? Is that Mr. or Mrs.? Yes, yes, this is Mrs. McDonald here. Oh, right, it's Bill Mallop here. Your daughter Jane is a friend of my daughter Samantha's. Oh, yes, Jane. How is Jane? Um, well, she's fine. Uh, she and Ralph have asked if they can stay overnight, and I said it was all right with me if it was all right with you. Yes, yes, it's all right with us. I mean, me. Pardon? My wife, Mr. McDonald. It's all right with you. Jane can stay in. Oh, wait a minute. No, she can't. I mean, yes, she can. Oh, hold on. Right. Sorry. My husband and I. Not my wife. I'm his wife. I'm staying away. My husband. I was only thinking of one night. One night, twenty nights, all the same to us, really. Anyway, I better go. Thanks for being so nice to Jane. 
This is Bernard Tump returning your call. Or should I say, uh, comment before. That's how are you in French? Uh, French? Uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, I am calling regarding a material sensitive. <laughs> now, if we can agree on the argent, the answer is yeah. I mean, we. <laughs> I'm looking forward to doing business with you. And remember, mum's the word. Mum. Rougette. Oh, no, that means mullet. Uh, look, uh, never mind. Ciao. Uh, bonjour. Oh, bye. Oh, harmony. Uh, <laughs> you want me to tell you when the news is on? Yes. Mm. Thank you. Oh, uh, would you take down the stock market report for me, will you, sweetie? See, see, la materiale traviata. Hey, honey, Joss. Sink? No, Jason, I will not keep talking now. Go away. Maybe it's the tap linguistic ability. Oh, how about counting then? Just count for us. Couldn't be. Ah, uh, Jocelyn! Look, it's very rude to eavesdrop on people in the bathroom and I don't think it's funny. Oh, just tell us what you're doing, Aunt Joss. Answer the it's phone. None of your you kids are what I'm doing here in the bathroom. Oh, I don't oh, think you're going to do it. Now, for the last time, go away. Jane, this is the moon. The green baby has grown a grey hair. What does that mean? No grey baby has to live longer than a few hours after the first grey hill. Jane, please hurry. I'm not going to die! Right, that's it. Don't say you haven't been warned. Please, you've got to talk to me. Please. I will not. But you've got to. It's for a school project. Oh, run away. Your father's going to hear about this, Samantha. You promised him there'd be no more onsen. No more what? Onsen. The special kind of English. <laughs> a foreign language. Open the door! Five marks to die! The toothbrush! Oh my god, it's a toothbrush of linguistic ability!